people, this is Glenn again, just wanted to show you the old paper Australian 10 and 20 dollar banknote. As you can see here, they're pretty pretty, better than the current banknotes, which are polymer. Uh, these two in front of you issued in 1966. Uh, inflation rate uh, value, the $20 should be equal to $200 and the $10 should be equal to $100. But you can buy these ones for about 40, 50 bucks, even $30. And these ones you can buy for uncirculated, I don't know, $50, $40, 50 each. So really it's not worth collecting banknotes these days. The current banknotes, generic um, serial numbers. While they do go through flux at this point in time, they're really not worth collecting. Maybe first and last serial numbers, yeah. But even they have dropped in price since 2008. Now, on the face of this one is Sir Charles Kingston Smith, who was a pilot and tried to fly around the world or some shit like that. And it has some generic patterns. They probably look like wind patterns. On the reverse, it has some flying contraptions and Hargroves, who I believe was a scientist. Commonwealth of Australia. Oh, by the way, these are also legal tender, so you can spend them for face value. But no one's really going to do that. Um, this one is... Greenway, uh, no idea who he is, and just some some architectural pictures. So I presume he's an architect. On the reverse, as a poet, Henry Lawson. Here's some of his poetry. Country town, probably where he grew up. And Commonwealth of Australia, 1974. They changed Commonwealth of Australia to do just Australia. But at the same time now, so it's changed the security thread from the centre to the side. I'll show you the comparison with these two. You can see the difference in the security thread. You can also see the watermark of Captain James Cook. Okay, there you go. These yes, paper ones are pretty good. The polymer ones are more economical viable. Now these two notes were probably cut out from a um, a sheet that the mint used to issue, and these ones are worth about a hundred dollars. This one's worth about probably fifty. And this one's worth about probably thirty. So really. Collect these from 1966 and you kept them for investment value. No, you would have been better off actually keeping it in the bank. Investing it somewhere else. Property, stocks, whatever. Because you would have lost most of your investment. Okay, so that's it for my introduction to the 10 and 20 dollar note. As you can hear, it's still a bit crisp. Anyway, can you please like this video and subscribe? And I like to make more other videos. Okay, bye bye. Hooroo.